This is Bethlehem of Judea. And we know that the birth of Christ was around A.D. 4. Now, Jesus means Savior, and Christ means anointed. And the birth of Jesus happened just this way. Mary was betrothed to Joseph. And this, she was uh, pregnant by the Holy Spirit before they came together. And Joseph, being a just man, wanted to put her away quietly. And an angel appeared unto him and said, Mary is with child by that of the Holy Spirit. And you will, she will be your wife, and she will have a son, and you shall name his name Jesus which means he will save his brothers from their sin. And so Joseph awoke from his dream. Now, this was during the time of Herod the king. And Herod also wanted to know where was the child to be born. And he summons the chief priests and the scribes in order to find out where the king was to be born. And they told him in Bethlehem of Judea. So the wise men, I see them there almost here, the wise men were on their way. They were following a star. And they came to Jerusalem asking the question, where is the one to be born, the king of the Jews? And we saw when his star rose and we come to worship him. And Herod summons them and told them that when they found the king, or when they found the birth of Jesus Christ, to come and get him. And he also wanted to worship the child. And so uh, the wise men did come to Bethlehem. They brought their gifts, gold, myrrh, and frankincense, and gave them to baby Jesus, the king. And so that leads us to the question that Ephesians 10, 9 tells us that we be strong in the might of the Lord. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against rules and authorities, against cognitive forces over darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. And it says that when we come to know Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, He is indeed the Savior of the world.